Hey guys, this is Sharon Brown. I'm here to teach you how to create wire scorpions. Um, I had learned this several years ago and people have asked me how do you make the wire scorpions and are they difficult to make? They're not difficult to make especially if you practice. The first thing that you need are the tools and the wire. I have with me what I usually use, wire cutters, which I got at Walmart and well, I got all my parts at Walmart. Uh, these are the pliers and I usually use 24 gauge wire which is this one right here. It's a lot thinner and easier to use. You can use larger wire and um, if you use larger wire you make sure that your wire is longer. The wire that I use has been measured to my hand sometimes a little over. They don't have to be exactly the same size. It's from palm to thumb and uh, we need 14 wires in total. So I have already had 14 wires pre-clipped for myself for this video. Um, we separate them, we split them from 6 and 8. We take the 6 and we leave them in our hand. The 8 we set down and we wrap individually around the wire around the six that we're holding in our hand so that it looks like this okay so um, I will be working on that and we will get this situated here alright I have finished with the wrapping this is what it looks like on the bottom part we wrapped in all eight pieces around the six um, wires that are to be used for the pinchers in the tail I will be working with this side here which is not the flat side it's it's the bowed out side okay and to start with we take the bottom one and we bring it up and around like this this is how it looks like that and we continue to do that we take the one on the other side here bring it up and around the other direction so that it forms somewhat of an X see there and I will continue to do this until they're all done all of the wires are folded over the centerpiece right here all right the next step after this here, this is where I was bringing all the wire up and around from the last step. The next step here is to um, twist the wires here on the side, these here, and to make them into the legs. So we twist the two nearest ones like this and we just keep twisting. Okay and we have to do this to all both sides where there's four total on each side instead of all these individual wires you just take two and twist it alright this is what I've got after twisting two wires uh, next to each other close together this makes the feet so we move on to the next step which will be the pinchers. We take two wires that's closest to the top and when if you when you do, when you decide what direction you're going, you see how this is pointed here and this is more flat. This is the head and this is the back. So we set we bring up two to the top which will make the eyes and then we will separate the other two which will create the pinchers now for the pinchers we're going to have to twist them so we twist them as long of a length as we want and I since I usually use these for my jewelry making earrings and whatnot I don't make them very long because they could get caught into the hair a lot easier so alright we've got the uh, pinchers and the eye made. I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, pinchers are that long. 
and there's the eye and the next step is to do the tail and you take individual pieces and you just simply wrap them as long as you want into one particular spot so that it creates somewhat of a a well I can't quite call what it is but that's what it looks like right there that is part of the tail now this here which is extra wire will be removed when I go to trimming all this because a lot of this is going to be trimmed away when done now, the next step is to bend the feet and the legs right here after finishing the tail like that and then trimming the rest off so that it looks like this. This is a finished product of the wire scorpion and it can be used to be set on a shelf or as I have it a pair of earrings. <coughs> no, no. Or a necklace which I have right here. So, and that is how you make a wire scorpion. Thanks for your time.